Okay, good afternoon and welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to how to use um, planes, how to work with planes in Design Sparks Mechanical, and also how to copy uh, line attributes. And uh, we'll go ahead and load up Design Spark. We'll create new, change the plan view. I'm going to come over here to file, go to Design Spark options, make sure that I'm in inches. So we'll navigate to units. It's an imperial, so we're good. Okay, now I'm not going to draw anything spe specific, but um, this is just to kind of go over working with plans. All right, so we'll draw a box three by three. We're going to spin this. We're going to, we're going to pull this out to three. Okay, so, and we'll pan this to the middle. So working with plans, what we could do is if we wanted to put a plane on any one of these surfaces, we could just click on it and then say, come up here to plane. And now we have a plane on this surface. So if we want to draw something from here, we could go ahead and spin this. Click on this piece right here and then say plan view. And then you want to make sure that the the plane is selected when you're going to draw on it. So if you wanted to draw a circle, we go ahead and click there. And we go ahead and put a circle in the middle. OK, and then we go ahead and uh, spin this. So this is going to be on the plane. So we're going to go ahead and pull this out. Let's undo. Let's pull this out to 5. So we go ahead and click here. We'll put 5. And I'll go ahead and pan over. We'll spin this. Now let's put a chamfer on this corner here. So we'll go ahead and click the corner and we'll go ahead and change this to chamfer. I want to show you guys how to create a plane on an angle. So if we wanted to put something on here, we'd actually have to click that, come up to plane. Now it's at an angle. So uh, now we go ahead and Select and click off. We would rotate this. Rotate that somewhere like that. Click on there. Hit plan, plan view. Now if we're going to draw something here, we have to make sure that this plane is active. Click on that. We'll go ahead and get our rectangle tool. We can do define from center. We can activate this plane. Click and drag and there on the center there and then we go ahead and spin and you'll see that that is on the angle it's supposed to be so we can go ahead and pull this out okay and now a lot of these uh, planes after a while of creating stuff you're going to have quite a few of these so you can either turn them off by clicking on the plane box or you can um delete them. Just simply highlight them and delete them. So in the benefit to, to having planes is that if you wanted to put something here in the center of this, you know that it's five inches. So you go ahead and create your plane. We can come in here and you can do the plane on uh, different angles. Um, so we could go ahead and, uh, and put a, a plane there for example, and then we can go ahead and move the plane um, two and a half so we know that it's in the center. So you would go 2.5 and then you go ahead and click select. So now when you draw something on this plane activated, you're drawing uh, in the center right here. So if we were to go ahead and spin this, spin that piece of art there. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and spin this, click here, change this to plan view, we'll go ahead and pan over. Now we're going to activate the plane here by clicking on it. You can always spin to make sure it's the one that you want, so that we know that that is. So we'll go ahead and click there, we'll go plan view, we'll activate our plane, which is this. And then we'll grab another circle, make sure the plane is active. 
and then we'll draw another circle there. We'll go ahead and spin this, and we can see that it's halfway in between, so it's on two and a half. So now we'll go ahead and pull. We could click there, we could say pull from both sides, and then we can click that out to 0.7. So now we have something right in the center here, uh, which is really handy to be able to, to do that function. And then you can move the planes um, any direction that you want. And also now to cover some of the uh, copy features, we can do the same, similar. So what we would do is highlight a line that we want to copy. We would say Control a C on the keyboard and then Control V. And now we're going to come over here and use the move. Grab the red. Now we can move over. We know that box is three, so we can move it over to 1.5. It's going to put it right in the center. And then we can go ahead and click on the line. We can say pull. And then we can pull this from both directions. So now we're going to go add some width to it. Actually, undo. I don't think that got both directions. There we go. All right, let's go pull. Click on the line from both directions. Okay, now we're going to go. Now we'll be able to actually offset this piece too. We can extrude this piece here. Actually, let's give it to that line. And we'll go here, we'll go pull. And we can pull ourselves up another another plane. And then from there we can go ahead and pull pull from both sides. Add some thickness to it. This is all really handy to have to be able to do this. Um, and then also working with angles. Uh, so we can do the same thing here. We can go ahead and click on there. We can say plane. Uh, and then we know that this is going to be in the plane tree here. It'll be the last one. So then we go ahead and spin this. Click here. Go to uh, plan view. Okay, as long as, that plan, as long as the plane is active, you can go ahead and draw on it. So we want to grab our circle tool, activate the plane. Put a circle in there. We'll go ahead and spin this. We know that it's on the on the angle that we want it to be on. So we'll go ahead and go to the 3D model, click, and we'll go ahead and pull. Okay. So like I said, these planes you don't need to keep them. So you you have the option of getting rid of them, or you have the option of turning them off. Um, you don't have to ever keep planes unless you want to go back later on and don't want to have to add another one. So, so now we've got our little our little piece here. Um, really, just kind of a fictional part at this time, just to be able to show you how to do the uh, how to work with uh, planes and how to copy line features. Um, we can also do the same here on a circle. So. With the copy feature, we go ahead and click the line, control C, control V on the pasteboard. We'll go to move. We'll go ahead and move this over here. Um, then we can go ahead and click on the line. We could say pull. We could say pull from both directions. You get two arrows there, front and back. Go ahead and pull that. Okay, now if we want to pull this. We can make another one of those. Pretty handy feature because you can put, uh, you can do this, for example, you can copy this, paste this. You can move this all the way over to the back there. And then you can go ahead and click on it. Go ahead and say pull from both directions. Make it as thin or thick as you want. Then select off of it. And go ahead and pull. 
You can also pull this in too. Um, let's see, undo. Go ahead and pull. Click here. You go ahead and uh, select cut. And then you can actually come in on the part too. Okay, we'll go ahead and pan over. Um, you do the same thing with the angled lines. Go ahead and copy that line. Control C, Control V. Grab your move tool. Let's move it over uh, 1.5. And then we can go ahead and uh, say pull. We can pull out an existing plane there at an angle. We can click on it. We can say pull. We can pull from both sides. Now you have another line there. So now you're starting to see the benefit of working with planes, working with the copy and paste function. Um, you could also do one last thing here. You go ahead and click, hold the control key down and get all these lines. You could copy this face here. Do control C, control V, grab your move tool. Go ahead and grab the blue arrow, move it down. And then you can rotate it. You can rotate that. Or you could pull this plane up here and then go ahead and uh, pull. And you could do the same thing. You could pull that and just pan down. Actually, what we'd have to do to pull that, we'd have to fill that line in right there. So I'll go ahead and click. Go back here. Go to this um, corner rounder there. Go ahead and pull. Okay, somewhere it must it must have an open line in it because it's still not wanting to pull this. Okay, well we can undo that. All right, so we got we're back to here. Okay, and also um, let's go ahead and spin this. So basically, on um, the copy feature, you could also, let's go spin over to here. Let's go change this to plan view. If by selecting a piece, like if you want to do a copy of this, you could go ahead and uh, go to your move. You go over here to create pattern, and then you drag a pattern across to there. And now you have one on the other side. We can undo that. Spin. I'm trying to think of some other things that I could show you guys how to do. Okay, we'll go ahead and um, we can rotate this. So click on that face there. We'll go to move. And as we click on this blue, actually undo. I think it's the red one. Click on the red one, we can rotate this. Okay, and then we can go ahead and pull this up. Oh, undo. We have to create a plane. This is where the plane comes in handy. You go ahead and click, click on the plane. Then we'll go ahead and rotate this. We'll go ahead and click here. We'll go to the plan view. Now we could draw our piece here. Go ahead and draw a circle, control plus. Um, we'll pan over. We're going to go ahead and select that one circle. We're going to go move. We're going to create a pattern. We're going to move it over this way to 0.75. Okay, and then we'll go, okay. 
Now we're going to go grab this copy here. I'm going to move, I'm going to create a pattern. I'm going to move this over to there. Okay, now we'll go ahead and uh, we get rid of that circle on top. We don't need it. We'll go ahead and spin this. Now we can go ahead and pull since this is on a different plane. And pull those parts up. Now we have kind of this kind of shape going on. And this little part here was created all from basic shapes. Um, basic use of plane, adding new planes, and also from um, copying and pasting uh, functions like uh, copying, uh, pasting the line here, moving it over, pulling it, and then creating another element all in itself. Super useful. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and view from the top. That's going to end today's tutorial. Hopefully that gave you a little bit better understanding of how, how to use the uh, planes in Design Spark Mechanical and also how to use your uh, copy line attributes, paste, and how to um, extrude and uh, do basic shapes on planes. Okay, thank you for watching. And if you found anything useful out of this tutorial, please consider liking and subscribing.